Okay, kids, welcome to Flash Lip Sync Tutorial number four, where we're working with sound some more. Uh, in the last tutorial, we just inserted uh, the sound for the first speaker, which is Laurel. And uh, all, uh, what's his name? Stan Laurel. And at the keyframe where that sound was entered, we also went to its properties to check to make sure that the sync setting was put to stream. Now, what we're going to do is at the place where Laurel had finished speaking, which is about frame 150, I've inserted a keyframe on a new layer that I made called the Hardy sound, which is Oliver Hardy's retort to the, uh, the first sound that I made. And I dragged that sound to the stage with that keyframe highlighted. Once that's highlighted, I want to go and check the sync setting to make sure it's set to stream, which it is. And then what I'm going to do, and this is a strange thing with this version of Flash that I've yet to figure out, but if I start playing at 150, for some reason it's going to start playing the sound from the previous that was loaded previously at frame 10. For some reason it starts playing it even at, when I start at 150. Watch, I'm going to hit return. You're going to hear both guys talking. Hello, well, Ollie. I don't know, Stan. What do they call it? So that's rather distracting and confusing. So if I just want to check to hear what's going on with this layer, with the Hardy layer, what I can do is mute the sound. And one way you can mute the sound is just like you can turn off the uh, visual aspect by clicking under the eye icon here for that layer. If I click on that for the sound layer, when I go to play... It'll shut it off. You folks that have CS3 don't have to worry about this, so I don't even know why I'm blathering about this. Blathering about this. Here we go. Well, I don't know, Stan. What do they call a theater? Okay, so not all of that sound was exposed. So let's put another frame, insert frame. And this is how you can see how where the sound file actually ends. I don't know if it's done. Call, let's see. They call a theater where they milk cows. So I don't even hear the S of cows. So I'm going to put a frame at about 10 frames down. Insert frame. Not keyframes, folks. Just insert frame. And that way you don't get all mugged up with keyframes wanting to trigger events. Well, I don't know, Stan. What do they call a theater where they milk cows? Great. Sound two is in. So let's turn Mr. Laurel back on and go to where Mr. Hardy finishes speaking, which is around 295. And I'll insert a new keyframe for Mr. Laurel, and I will take his sound, his second sound, which is called Stand 2, and drag that to the stage. And I'm going to guess how long that is and put a keyframe. I'm just going to overshoot. I'm going to put a, a frame, not a keyframe, at 400. And there, his sound file actually ends at 350. So let's hear what that sounds like. That's going to play all of them at the same time. This is really kind of crappy. They call it a drama dairy. Oh, now it wants to work. Fine. Thanks. Make a fool out of me, why don't you? Cows. Cows. They call it a drama dairy. Okay, good. It's working for some reason. I don't know why. That might be a bug. So let's play the whole thing and hear it. Hello, Ollie. What do they call a theater where they milk cows? Well, I don't know, Stan. What do they call a theater where they milk cows? They call it... A drama dairy. So there we go. Yay, it's done. So uh, the audio ends at around 355. I'm going to leave a little buffer at 360. Now what I'm going to do is hold down shift and click on this last frame that I inserted and right click and choose remove frames so it's nice and clean that I know that where the sound ends is where my framing ends also. Now, this is where the Oliver and Hardy part ends. So what we're going to do now is, uh, is add keyframes or f insert frames for the visual part of the project all the way up to where the sound ends so now there we go for the whole duration of the sound files we now have <laughs> our jawless pictures and our jaws ready to do the next step in animation see you there <laughs> 